Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Trailmakers and today I'm going back to the workshop. It's been a while now and we're gonna see what kind of awesome or ridiculous creations we can find there. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with a pair of creations by Marty Sama and these are gonna be Beyblades. And the reason why we're doing a pair is because it's gonna be much more fun to have two Beyblades than just a single one. So this one is called the Beyblade Nature Series. And the other one we're gonna be looking at is called the Beyblade Technomax. Now, I actually don't know if these things are able to function on their own or if I'm actually going to have to... Oh, well, it looks like it seems to be doing just fine. Oh, interesting. It looks like we even have a, uh, a jump function on these. Oh, it, it's a little bit damaging if you go too high. So check that out. That's pretty cool. And then if you press Q, you can enable a super jump mode, which allows you to kind of hover a little bit longer. So that's pretty awesome, I like that. And I don't think that there's any way to actually control, oh, what's left shift do? Oh, oh, so that is the mad science block. Yeah, cause this thing has the mad science blocks, which I did not have. So that is awesome. It has some visual effects that he added into it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hop out of this one and we're gonna go ahead and spawn in the other one and see if we can't get these things to fight. All right, so here is the other one. Oh, this one's super cool as well. Uh, the only problem is we can't really get them to go towards each other. You know what? I think these are made for the sandbox map. Let's hop over there. So he says these are supposed to be used in the pit in the grass area, which I'm assuming is this pit right here. And that's actually an awesome idea. It's going to make them go towards each other no matter what. Oh, boy. All right. I, I've never seen Beyblades. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we, oh, do we have a clear winner? I don't even know. If we, oh, we might have a clear winner. He's trying. He's try I forget their names. I'm just gonna call them blue and green. Oh boy. He's like <laughs> He's playing the defensive tactics now. He's just going along the outskirts. I think we might have a winner though This green guy is still holding pretty strong and this guy is just barely rolling himself around over here Should we have a rematch? I think we should have a rematch. All right now. Let's see who's gonna come out strong this time. Ooh Ooh, that was brutal green is just He's just out for blood. He was spawned first a second time, so we're gonna spawn him second this time and see. Oh, you know what? Blue is just having an all around bad time, it looks like. Oh, there we go. All right, Blue, Blue's got himself, he's got himself on his feet now, or his peg rather. Ooh, you know, it seems like what might be the issue here, 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 here. Hold on, hold on, we'll repair you. We didn't activate, we didn't activate their special mode. There we go. There you go. All right, and there we go. Oh, man, this look. This makes it look even more intense now. Okay. Yeah, blue. Blue doesn't seem to. Uh oh. Ooh. Man, this looks. It, it, this looks brutal. Uh oh, oh, what is blue doing? Blue's coming in with a new strategy. He's lost the tip. Oh no, blue. Ah. Uh, I feel so bad for blue. Blue is just blue is just getting it handed to him. Uh oh, oh, now green's going out of control. Green green's thinking about, oh, what is green doing? He's thinking about leaving the match all of a sudden. I may have accidentally activated the hover thing on the green one. Okay, all right, green. Um you got to you got to calm down. You're doing your victory lap a little bit too early. Blue's still, you know, blue's not in the game. You know what? Maybe it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Green. Green. Green took the victory lap a little bit too seriously, and... Well, you're a winner, Green. You're a winner. Blue's completely destroyed himself. Well, that was actually pretty entertaining. I'm a big fan of these Beyblades. All right, it is time to look at the Muscle League Muscle Car Drag Race Edition by Janna. Apparently, this thing has a top speed of 166 kilometers an hour, so let's go ahead and check it out. It looks beautiful. All right, check this thing out. Looks like it's just got the standard WASD controls. Sounds a oh. Okay, okay, this thing is not meant for dirt. It is a drag race edition. I'm noticing now that the back wheels and the front wheels are not the same type of wheels. The back wheels are actually the, uh, the racing wheels. All right, and off we go. Oh boy, it, across the dirt again, made the same mistake. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn over here because this is a long straight piece of road and let's see how fast we can get it before we crash into the ramp at the end. We might not even crash. We might just go right up it and never come back down. Who knows? All right. I don't think we're going to get to 166. It looks like it's in the... It's a long... Oh, wait. We're getting close. 161, 2, 3, 4. We got up to 3. Oh, oh, oh. We're turning around. Ooh. 
Okay, yeah, we didn't exactly survive that. But even though this is supposed to be like a drag racing lowrider, perhaps if we give it some air off of this jump over here, its true colors will shine. All right, we're getting there now. We're having enough speed. 166. I saw I hit one. There it is, 166. We hit it. We hit top speed. And now let's see if we can get some jumps off the top speed. Uh, ooh, we did it. We kept all of our wheels. A landing where you keep all of your wheels. Oh, we lost a wheel there, though. Maybe, I don't know if we lost it on the first jump or after the first jump, but he's dead now. All right, up next, we have the WTF7 Hammerhead 32 car pop plane. This thing doesn't look like your typical plane design, but apparently it does fly, which is which made me want to check it out. This is by Mimetic Soup. Oh, wow, look at all the propellers inside. That is kind of cool. All right, well, uh, I don't think this is the best spot for takeoff. Right, this is, might be a little bit better. Let's see what happens. All right, come on. Take off. Take off. Take off. Please take off. Please take... That was my fault. All right, here we go. Come on. God, this thing looks kind of like a... It almost looks like a whale. Like the coloring looks like a killer whale almost. Okay, it does fly. He wasn't lying. Oh, that is so cool. Look at all the propellers inside. That is a really unique concept, having the propellers in the center of the craft like that. And yeah, it does look like a hammerhead with the, the way that the front wings are. And it looks like, I'm trying to see, how is the roll being controlled? The roll is actually controlled with the same uh, ones as the pitch. That's interesting. All right, yeah, this thing's pretty much no problem to fly. Oh, 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 oh. It's just skimmed off the water there, no problem. But can we come in for a nice smooth landing? You know what, pilot survived, everything's okay. Okay, up next, we have something called Danger Brick. It glows. Um, I, I really don't know what to expect with this. It's got some, some of the new cockpit seats on the front here. And it looks like it's just made of thrusters. I just wanted to see what it did. It, lo it, it looks like the crazy, ridiculous creation by uh, Pock Tux. And I like when it has 1,760 power cores. I like it when creations just kind of push things to the limits. And this seems like... It potentially might be. It weighs 23,000 kilograms. It's got almost the maximum number of... I'm, I'm frozen right now, actually, trying to build this thing in here. I literally... It's, it's all thrusters. I can see raw thrusters inside surrounded by, like, a casing of dragon thrusters. And then we've got these cockpits on the front. This Is, is this going to break the sound barrier to think? This is not the most aerodynamic build at all. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Uh, I'll try that again. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Okay. Is this thing capable of anything? It can't even... I can't even repair it. Oh, man. Okay, don't break. Don't... Don't break. It breaks every time. It just breaks. All right, you know what? I'm getting in it, and I'm pressing the button. Left shift. Why left shift and not space? All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. The noises. Oh, my. What is happening? It does glow. The whole thing was bl bright blue. Okay. All right, it's done. It's done. You know, I think I don't want to play with that one anymore. I think I've gotten my fill. Oh, look what's left. Look, oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Look at it go. Look at it glow. <laughs> Oh, no! Is that an indestructible seat? All right, up next, we're going to be looking at Gray's Blue Boat by uh, Gray or Soft. Apparently, it's the second boat ever, but it looks amazing, so I wanted to give it a try. Oh, man, look at just how it sits in the water. This looks awesome. This is an amazing-looking boat. All right, well, let's give it a go. Look at the look at the detail, like just with the with the pontoons on the side and the life raft. Oh, uh, uh oh, I may, uh, guys, guys, it stays. The boat stays on when you fall out. It's not, but it's not press. It's toggle. No, <laughs> come back, boat. Watch out, watch out. Ooh, ooh. Okay, right, don't worry. I got your boat. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, I love the new water effects with the bubbles and stuff. So awesome. 
Okay. Oh, don't tip over. Don't tip. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 don't, 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 don't. Okay. You gotta be careful not to tip too much, because then if your character goes underwater, he falls out, and then your boat goes away without you. All right, but how awesome are these new water effects? I mean, we used to have, like, no water effects when it came to driving on top of the water like this. Now we have this awesome, like, white water splashing in the back. It looks amazing. All right, well, this is just an amazing looking boat. I love the way it looks and I just wanted to drive it around a little bit and show you guys what it's all about. All right, up next, we're gonna have the Space Shuttle Rocket Ultimate by Famnen. I'm gonna try to remember these instructions. There's a lot of steps to this. Okay, here we go. Apparently we have to press L to detach. Oh, we're wobbly a little bit. All right, and then Q. All right, we're taking off. We're taking off. This is working. And then, oh, there's one set of thrusters. And then P, oh, oh, and then space. Oh, wow, wow. That was actually really, oh, there it goes. You can see it falling back down there. That was really epic. Now the question is, are we gonna be able to land this thing back on the aircraft carrier? And our return from very, very, very low atmosphere and not quite space. We didn't really, we didn't really go up that high. All right, well, let's find out. Oh, I don't know if I've been back here very often. I don't remember those floating rocks. All right, well, here goes nothing. Uh oh, uh oh, the pitch is not the greatest on this. It take, it has a very, very wide turning radius. Oh no, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Uh, uh. <laughs> Pilots alive, success, successful landing. All right, up next we have uh, this thing uh, that, that I can't read. This is by A10000. It looks like the Hulk. All right, well, I don't know how to control it. Uh, I'm gonna press space. Oh, 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 that's fancy. I gotta unlock those. Yeah, I really gotta unlock those. Oh, look at this. Holy cow. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here. Hold on a sec. Oh, no, don't fall down there, Hulk. This thing walks amazingly. You can see the gimbal jets. Like, you can see the exhaust from the gimbal jets just alternating back and forth. He's programmed the gimbal jets to help with each and every step. It's amazing. And then I love, I love this effect. I really want to unlock these so I can use that. That is awesome. And then, can he go backwards? Of course he can go backwards, too. This thing is super cool. It's a Mecha Hulk. Hulk, Hulk Mech. Hulk a Mech. Mecha, Mecha, Hulk a Mech. He needs some kind of Hulk smash option, though. That's the only thing this is missing. It works great, but we need a Hulk smash option. All right, amazingly designed creation. Look at the hair, too. This is a wonderful idea for the hair using that grill plate. That is awesome. All right, I have time for one more, and that is gonna be this Star Wars X-Wing by Fletcher. And this thing just looks so good, so well designed. So let's see if it functions as well as it looks. All right, look at this. Look at the detail in this. It is awesome. Oh, it has actual guns too. Well, let's see if we can take this thing off. And there we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. There we go. We're good now. All right. And then I think we can enter X mode by pressing the X key. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Look at that. So easy to fly too. Really easy to fly. All right. I don't even know. I don't know if one mode is better than the other, to be honest. They're both like really good. All right, let's see if we can fly ourselves through this hoop of fire. No problem. Oh, we get points for that now, or we get gold for that now. I didn't realize that. Not a lot of gold, but we get some gold. That's pretty cool. All right, let's fly through another one then. No problem at all. Another 25 gold. I'll get that mad science block in no time. All right, and then we can go ahead and fly through this one. No problem at all again. And then we can enter X mode, start firing on- Oh man, look at that. That looks devastating. And now let's see if we can actually land this thing with the pilot surviving. All right, let's go ahead and close our wings here, prepare for landing. And... Look at that. 
Perfect. Pilot survived. That's all we need. All right, well, which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And let me know what you're looking forward to seeing in future Trailmakers content. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.